Shop time. Do you see something in here that looks a lot of different? Yeah. I have a story for you. <laughs> it's, it's a little emotional for me, but at the same time, it's like a, a freeing, if you will, a more, uh, let's just say I got to upgrade. Let's just go with that. So things are different. Stuff in here is not the same. I am moving on to bigger and better things. And now here we are saying goodbye to my very first shop. But hello to something new. So that's coming. I'm going to share that with you soon. So stay tuned. some news that kind of hurt my feelings if you will it is uh it's been a rough couple of days but at the same time I know God is working behind the scenes and even though the news I got was disappointing and made me sad I'm trying to work through that and allow God to do whatever he's gonna do I am sharing this to say that yes this sucks yes I am totally sad about it but I also know that whatever it is that he's allowing me to feel in this situation to process in this situation and whatever else I'm supposed to get out of this situation it's going to happen regardless so even though I'm in my feelings or I have been the past couple of days I've been going back and forth with knowing God you're in control Ah, God, you're in control, <laughs> and then freaking out. But at the same time, I know that it's gonna work out. However, whenever it's gonna work out. So I have to know that he has got my back. He's always had my back. And even in this situation, when it does not make me feel good at all, God is still amazing. He is still awesome, and I know that I will get through this the same way I got through everything else. August 1st, I was told I wasn't going to be able to stay in my shop and had to be out by the end of the month. It was something I didn't see coming and boy did it hurt. I was so sad about it and thought that the Lord was closing a door on this part of my journey. I told my husband and he asked me if I was going to look for a new space and my immediate answer was no because it was too new and I didn't want to put myself out there in that way again. After thinking about moving back into my garage, I felt the unction to see what was out there and happened to stumble upon a place that seemed like it would work, so I reached out. On the 4th, I met with the leasing agent of this space and was told this one and another one would be available September 1st, but because this one was vacant and had been sitting for three months, thinking another tenant was going to occupy it, but backed out, he may be willing to negotiate the price of this one. Oh, it's okay. these ones. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not these. I'm going to get these ones too, Aaron. Woo-wee! Even the echo is better. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a biscuit and a half. In the half. Right? You got Popeyes. This is a Popeyes biscuit up in here. Yeah, wait. <laughs> was a matrix you at the other spot. Ooh, stop playing.
so strong. So we decided that we'd ask to see if we can make this one work and if not, go with the smaller one. That following week, the leasing agent came back that the owner was willing to meet my price and that he'd drawn up the lease for me to take a look at. After signing the lease and getting them everything they needed to get keys, I was able to move in a whole two weeks early. The way the Lord had all this come together is mind-boggling to me. I had no idea he had a new space ready and available for me to move into, and that it is so much more comfortable and nicer is like, man, we serve an awesome God. <laughs> Placing, placement of everything that's gonna go. I originally used to have a black wall here, but there's stuff on this wall, so now I have to figure out like where everything else is gonna go. So I'm thinking, I know I have plugs on this wall, all up and down it, and on here. So now I'm gonna decide what would be best placement for table saw, miter saw, cabinets. Where's my tool wall gonna go? Um, so yeah, I gotta figure all that stuff out. I actually like that setup right there. So I may have to figure out how to get the wood to kind of stay neat like that. Cause I think that looks pretty, that looks pretty nice instead of having it just thrown all about in there. I probably might keep long pieces in there, um, but I like that setup of how that looks. And now what to put on this wall. <laughs> so. that, that's, that's messed up. <laughs> That's what it is. It's broke, broke. It ain't broke. It's broke, broke. What's your initial reaction of the space? I like it. I like it a lot. The walls are nicer. The floor is nicer. There's eight. See? That's a big one. And I like the the front room area um, because there's paint on the wall. I feel like I can kind of design from that, <laughs> like take some creative design from the paint color to stuff that's inside um, and placing it and all that stuff. So I'm I'm really excited about how to set everything up. So yeah, Big Macs, you know what I mean? Okay. Not Big Macs, but mainly just like accessories. Okay. Yeah, drill bits and stuff like that in Boom. there that I don't necessarily need all the time, but I can reach in, get, grab it, put it back when I'm done type thing. I didn't think I'd be here in this new space, still doing something I enjoy doing. I figured because I was being forced out that the Lord had something else for me to do, not a new place already lined up. I'm still trying to wrap my head around all this because it was so fast and the way it all came together was so easy. The process was so stress-free that I couldn't believe how simple and quick it happened. And the people were so easygoing to work with. My faith and trust in the Lord has totally increased because I know it was the Lord orchestrating this whole scenario for me to be where He wanted me. 
Since being here, I've already had a few things lined up, and I know it's him doing all of it.